Long Beach City College is on the forefront of transforming what it means to attend a community college. Our commitment to providing equitable student learning and achievement is ingrained in our institution's mission. We prepare our student body for academic excellence and workforce success through a quality education and support for our diverse communities. For years, we've studied how racial equity factors into this mission. Equity champions and warriors have been at LBCC for decades. When I think about the legacy of programs like Amoja and Sankofa and Puente and EOPS and CARE and CalWORKS, when I think about all these amazing programs and people and services that have really worked hard over the last several decades to transform our campus into a more equitable and inclusive space, we have to really start with them and their legacy because it's the foundation that they've created and laid that allowed for this work to accelerate when we really began to have this focused conversation about what it means to move from colorblind to race conscious. I have seen the college go from resistance to racial equity to becoming one of the most faithful followers of the work that the Center for Urban Education did. And I have to tell you that at the very beginning, it was not easy. Um, a lot of people felt that talking about equity and you know racial equity in particular were divisive terms. The conversation about equity and inclusion has uh, transformed on campus. And, and I've been involved with Long Beach City College going on two decades uh, as a student and commissioner and now as a, a board member. And we're building on the work that many unsung silent heroes have done for decades. Under the leadership of Interim Superintendent President Dr. Mike Munoz and the Board of Trustees, we've actively moved away from colorblind approaches and implemented intentional practices to uplift students of color long before the catalytic events we witnessed this past year. We really want students to be able to see themselves here on campus. So we've had uh, a number of virtual events to recognize uh, Black History Month, Women's History Month, uh, keynote speakers, uh, workshops, uh, APID celebrations, even a Harvey Milk Day this year. This is the first time we raised the pride flag. And while it was a small group, it still sent a, a strong message to the campus of your value no matter your background or your heritage. Equity is not about sameness. Equity is about fairness. It's about a recognition that not all of our students have access to the same resources and opportunities and that there's actual real institutional barriers that oftentimes get in their way and prevent them from succeeding. I am very proud to have had the opportunity of working with Long Beach City College. I am also a great admirer of uh, interim president Mike Munoz because to me he represents the future of higher education leadership in California as well as nationally. He's a walking role model, uh, he's a practitioner, uh, he's implementing programs that we've as a board I think wanted to have happened that has not happened until now and I think that, to me that's uh, what I'm most proud of having a leader in place that can make the change happen that we all want to see. We've been able to really not only move from these this place of conversation around what it means to be um, race conscious in our work, but actually to the place of strategies, concrete strategies where we're seeing impact in our data. In the last five years, the number of degrees earned by students increased by 97%. For Black students, it's increased by 119%. And for Latinx students, it's increased by 125%. The number of Black males matriculating from high school to LBCC increased by 25% from fall 2019 to fall 2020 because we did some very race conscious things in working with our Long Beach College Promise students. In the past 10 years, completion of transfer level English has increased by 330%. For Latinx students, it's increased by 499%. And for black students, it's increased by 433%. In the last year, the equity gap in completion rates between Latinx, white, and Asian students has completely closed. And lastly, the proportion of students of color on probation has dropped in the last four years, with equity gaps closing by 44% for black students and by 50% for Latinx students. 
Make no mistake, the events of this past year have only further highlighted the need for our equity-driven curriculum and how we can improve upon our efforts to produce bright minds who stand against injustice. COVID-19 revealed new barriers for students of color, spurring LBCC to develop new resources and programs to ensure equitable access to an online education. This challenged us to come up with creative solutions to keep our conversations around racial equity going. Billionaire philanthropist Mackenzie Scott gave away nearly $3 billion yesterday, and some groups here in Southern California are getting a big chunk of that money. Pasadena City College and Long Beach City College are getting $30 million apiece. LBCC officials say students tell us they are stunned and thrilled they were chosen. Students should be really excited for this generous donation. We're all here to achieve our own personal educational goals. And I'm excited to see how these funds will help make those goals a little bit easier to obtain, especially for our most vulnerable students. We're committed to using these funds to not only continue the programs that have accomplished significant progress towards our racial equity goals, but to incentivize the LBCC community to champion new initiatives. I also think it's really important to note that this amazing gift of $30 million was unsolicited. We didn't apply for this, we didn't submit a lengthy application. We were identified because of the amazing work that we've done in racial equity and social justice. This wonderful gift uh, is a recognition of the power of inquiry that was used by Long Beach City College to understand itself from the standpoint of racial equity. So then the question is, where do we go from here? We recognize that there's long-standing barriers that we need to remove for many of our students, and we're working hard to do so. But we need your help. We need our faculty, our classified professionals, our administrators, and our students to come together and work with us in a way that will help us eradicate the equity gaps that have been long-standing at Long Beach City College, but not just at Long Beach City College, but across the state and the nation. Twenty twenty showed us what LBCC can do in unprecedented times. As we start the new school year, let's show the community what our values are and what we stand for. Let's, let's educate, educate, engage, and empower.